one mile an hour club head speed, according to Flight Scope Mevo. I'm out here doing some practicing, but today I want to talk to you about how to generate more speed, more club head speed with your driver. Again, that was 108.1. They'll generate a distance of about 250 to 260 yards in carry, depending on uh, if I'm hitting up on it or down uh, those different variables. But if you've noticed the last couple weeks on the PJ Tour, in particular Phil Mickelson, you'll notice before he's, uh, he tees up his golf ball to hit it, he's making very aggressive, very fast, very hard uh, uh, sw uh, practice swings with his driver. And he's doing that because he's rehearsing, creating speed so he can get the most distance and the most speed out of his driver. It's something we don't really practice. Uh, and it's something that when you go to the range, you'll hit balls with the hopes that maybe I'll pick up an extra few uh, miles per hour in club head speed. That's not how it works. Having speed with any club in the bag is a technique, it's a skill. And it's something that we need to practice time and time again. And the way you practice that is by actually trying to swing the golf club faster. So one little tip or a drill that I have for you today People who come and get a lesson from me always ask, why do you have a broom in your golf bag? Well, this is why I have a broom in my golf bag. There's a couple other uses for the broom, but more importantly, it's gonna help generate more speed for me. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna make about five or six swings with this thing. I'm gonna try to swing as hard as I possibly can. I'm trying to use all of my body as I'm doing it. This as much speed as I can possibly generate. And if you even want to swing uh, airborne swings, like you're going to hit a baseball, you can do that too. Just go as fast and as hard as you possibly can. Now, I'm going to transition back to the golf club. And I want to try to do the same thing. I want to try to swing this golf club as fast as I possibly can and see if I can generate a little bit more speed than 108.1. Uh, 110.9 miles per hour that time. So I picked up two, nearly three miles per hour in club head speed just after swinging that broom three or four times. Now, if I continue to practice this way, practice making fast, hard swings, then it should help elevate my club head speed where I can get a little bit more distance on that golf ball. At 110 miles per hour with the same variables, I should have picked up an extra 10 yards and carry distance. So I'd take 270 over 260 any day of the week. That's an extra or a shorter club coming into the green, which is gonna help me get the ball a little bit closer. Thanks for watching, Golf Pro Show and Tell.